Come on, guys. They keep eating everything, so we're just gonna go even bigger until they stop eating. That's a big fish. Holy crap. A big flat. Oh, he's ripping line. He's ripping line. Well, good Sunday afternoon, y'all. This is Mark Cooper, your host here with Top Knox Fishing. It is Mother's Day. I have spent the morning with my grandmother and my mom. And now I am out here in Knoxville, Tennessee right now. I'm going to catch us some bait for a catfishing trip I've got planned tomorrow with a couple of buddies. We're going to be catching some skipjack herring here right now. And I'm going to take you along with me to do that because there's a lot of them up there. And it was every single cast the last time I was out there. And also, the striper started busting last time, and I didn't have any topwater stuff with me. So I brought it this time. We've got good overcast weather, and uh, I think we may have the shot at a topwater striper too. So this is going to be kind of a two-day little experience for you guys. Um, this is uh, the trip after uh, the one I did with Spencer from River Certified. We caught those gigantic flathead catfish. And man, I want to go back for more, except we're going to go to another lake down the Tennessee River chain and uh, fish some new stuff I've never fished before and see if we can pull out a gigantic flathead from there. We got a 50 plus last time, maybe two over 50. We didn't weigh the second one, uh, but I want to get one over 60 or see if I can. So uh, that's uh, the plan of action day. We're going to catch some skipjack and some white bass and uh, maybe a striper on top water. We'll see. But it's a beautiful day. We got some overcast weather. We got the new skipjack rigs. We got the big cat fever bumping rod with an Akuma Komodo rigged up on it with the top water. And then uh, Brian's $400 St. Croix rod and reel with the top water on it as well and uh, I hope I strip the gears out on it and have to buy him a new reel but uh, either way we gonna have us a fun little enjoyable evening here we're gonna load the cooler up about 30 skipjack and I think we're gonna go through a lot of them tomorrow and uh, we're just gonna have us a good old time stay tuned we call that the fish siren baby as you can tell it's paddlefish season down here and there's about 8 million people. So I'm staying over here on this side. Whoop, missed one. There's one. This may not be... That was a paddlefish. I'm glad that came off. Holy crap. Thank goodness. Because I did not want to deal with that. That was about to be 45 minutes of running down the river. No thank you, not today. Yeah. That was about to be not fun, guys. Not fun at all. That thing was just swimming like it didn't even know it was hooked. And this is a little 20 size reel with 15 pound test on it. There we go, baby. Big hoss. Big hoss. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. What we're using today, this is a 20 size uh, Okuma Kmart reel or same more. I don't know how to say it. I'm a redneck, whatever. We got 15 pound braid on there. Some kind of Dixie custom rod that Brian bought. This is a two ounce trolling sinker with barrel swivels on either side it's important to have these barrel swivels or your jig or your spoon gets tangled up and it doesn't swim correctly and then we got a 17 pound uh fluorocarbon leader this is about i don't know three feet of it somewhere in there you don't want it super long or you can't throw it far and we're just winging it out there in the current here let it sink hit the bottom and then reeling it back this reel's smaller and it has a slower gear ratio so it's making me reel this bait slower, which the last two days has been really good. Um, sometimes they want it faster, but the last few days just 
cruising this thing. Look, they're busting right there. Um, has been the ticket. And again, I'm gonna try to get about 20, 30 of these guys, just depending on how big they are. Those are pretty big. I only need 20 of those. There's one. And then we just bring it in. You try to keep them down when you got them hooked. Keep them down, keep them down. You don't want them to jump at the mini tarpon. Sometimes if I'm having fun, I'll stick the rod up in the air and just let them do the thing. But we try to keep them down as much as we can. And you just horse them to the boat. There we go. Hooked up. The braid is important for this because you get better hook sets at a distance. But that's what we're doing out here. We catch a few more. I think a guy's got a paddlefish on up there or he's got the bottom, one of the two. No, it is a paddlefish. I can see it coming to the bank. So I'm staying down here so I ain't got to deal with that mess. I'm glad they turned the other gen on because it pushed this seam out further away from the bank and I don't have to be as close to the paddlefish people and get snagged up. Look, they're busting right there in front of me. There's one. There's one. Yeah. Come on. God, this is fun. I've caught tens of thousands of these things, guys, over the last decade. And this never gets old. I love it. I'm like a kid out here catching bluegill. Oh, and I lost them. And that still makes me mad every time. Oh, he smacked the tarnation out of it. Coming at me, coming at me. Coming at me. Woo! Let's go! Oh, he fighting. He fighting. Whoa! All right, let's get him in the boat. Quick release. The only way that could have gone any better is if he went straight in the cooler. I'm just casting it halfway out there now because they're all over the place. I ain't got to throw this far. See? Coming at me. Wee hoo! Here we go. Fresh bait. Fresh. Fresh skipper jack. Alright guys, so I've caught the far out of them. We got one skip jack, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. skips now we're going to put the, the water in here get it nice and mushy and then shove all these guys down in there see if i can manage not to get myself soaked that's a dubious proposal All right, we're just gonna pump enough in there to get it all mushy. Not quite there yet. All right, mushy now. Now let's get this pump in. Now, watch this. Nope. Now they'll all get covered. And that's the game. Is we can put all of them in there, and then I'll put more ice on when I get back to the truck. And then we'll drain the water out, and then they'll all be packed in it and super, super cold. Because you want to keep them fresh. That's the goal of this. Big catfish don't want nasty bait, so we got to keep them as fresh as possible. And on that note, I'm getting them out of the floor of the boat and putting them in there. 
Now they're totally submerged. And now we're gonna drain the water out. And yes, I'm gonna do it in the floor of my boat because I just don't care. I don't have carpets. I'll drain my boat out later. And then they'll be perfectly packed in the ice. So now that sucker's draining. All this water will go down. And then all them skits are just gonna be sarcophagus inside of it. I know that's not a verb, but I used it as one. There it goes. See how they're getting packed? As soon as all the ice is out of it, it's just rock solid. You can see it going down, all the water's out of it, I mean. And now they're gonna get packed in it. I'm gonna just catch a couple more and give them to my buddy up there now while I'm waiting on the stripe I just stop busting. Cause I'm good on bait. I've been here about 30 minutes and I've caught one every cast or hooked up and lost it. We switched over to a chartreuse spoon and it obviously does not matter the color cause I just immediately got hit. sucker up there we go all right we're gonna do this like a heathen I'm gonna cast it out <laughs> and then we're gonna reel it in backwards gosh this is gonna be wonky I gotta let it hit the bottom first all right it's on the bottom gosh this is weird I don't know if I want to be <laughs> missed one. Get a little what razzle dazzle in there. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta land them. I gotta land them. Gosh, this is awkward. How do people do this on purpose? And I lost them. Dang it. Let's see if I can let it sink for a little bit. All right, now I have to catch one this way. I think I'm out of the strike zone. Yep. All right, we gotta see if we can do this again. We gotta see if we can manage it. All right, we're gonna let it sink. I just don't know the appropriate way to hold this. This is so awkward. There's one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep him on. It's so awkward. Come here. Stay on. This is tiring. I'm doing it backwards. All right, I've got him to the boat, I think. Yep. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> How did I even do that? All right. I'm not stopping until I get it doing the dumb way. All right. Well, there you go to the bottom. Touchdown. All right. I'm just going to set the tarnation out of it. Oh, somebody's hooked up over there. Missed one. Oh man, it tangled up the tip of my rod. Okay, now we're good, now we're good. I had one on it. <laughs> There's one, dang it. One of them hit the sinker too. Come on, come on. Come on, hit it, hit it. I got it. Somebody's got a paddle fish on up there. All right, redo. Oh, I broke the sinker off. I caught too many skipjack or broke the spoon off. All right, hold on. We're back in action, y'all. 
Let's see if we can do it. I ain't throwing it out far because I keep losing them as I get it close. It's hard for me to keep tension on it doing it this way. This one. Come on. Dang it. There's one. All right, I set the bricks off of that. Ooh, good one. He jumping. He jumping. All right. Can we get him in? Can we get him in? Can we get him in? Oh, stay on, stay on, baby, stay on. Man, and it was a monster. All right, I'm done. No more being silly. Getting a little rowdy down here. Can I get a whole year? Well, good morning, y'all. It is a pretty clear day here in uh, northern Alabama. Chad and I are going to be uh, dragging and suspend drifting and anchoring for some big old flathead catfish here on the Tennessee River this morning. And uh, you know when you're in Alabama and you drink your cup of coffee on the way down here, it is obligatory to stop at Big Daddy's Outdoor to have your morning poo. And you know it's that time. So, uh, we'll be back. Okay, okay, now it's time to go fit. We ready now. <laughs> Buying that Alabama license. made it down to the ramp here in Stevenson, Alabama, and we're going to do some dragging for some big old catfish, baby. There is no flow out here right now on the river, and they're not turning the gins on heavy until 4 o'clock, so for most of the morning here in the day, we're going to be dragging down the main channel with the old big cat fever rods. We got fresh skipjack down in there, baby. We got some planer boards to spread our baits out, and we got a pretty day. Let's get it. They must be doing some kind of construction on that bridge. That's a big old boat, baby. Lord have mercy. Alrighty, Feast Rose, we have made about a 10 12 mile run downstream and i just found the deepest water i could in the area let's see it's this big giant hole basically you can see in the river channel here and we're gonna um, try to pick up the active fish on this flat outside of the hole and then if we don't pick up any active fish out here then we're gonna move down deep so good rule of thumb is if start shallow then go deep if they're shallow they're active if they're not you're good Live action, baby. Time to catch some fish. We already marked them. There's the big hole. We're on the flat outside of it. So these fish probably winter in this hole. And then in the spring, they move out of it to come into these creeks to spawn, I think. So we're going to drag the, the flats on the outside of it, see if we can pick up some active fish. We got our dragon weights on, as you can tell. Just a myriad of different kinds. They're about uh, two ounces to four ounces, just depending on which ones they are. And uh, we got the board, so we're gonna get our cut baits out, start dragging. I'm gonna start out with our slack lines, guys, which is just straight back behind the boat, essentially. And we're gonna let them go probably 100 yards back, honestly. Just gonna stagger these baits out, lower her down into the water.
I usually start out a little faster um, while we're getting baits out just so we get the spread out quickly and then we'll slow us down to like 0.5 or so maybe even slower than that just depends on what they want I'll do what the fish want as the uh, wise TI once said you can have whatever you like You know we gotta drop a monster bait down. We in Alabama, baby. Heck, I do this in Tennessee. I'm just a glutton for punishment. Or glutton for catching big fish. Ten pound full fight head would try to eat this. Too, but never know. We make coaxes. Coaxes a big old bruiser into eating it. Putting it out on the heavy action, a big cat fever. She going down. Marking all kinds of fish on the bottom. All right, how many more do you got? We got four total okay. left. Is there another double bait? Yeah, there's one more double. Getting our boards out now. We're gonna put a head bait on this one. Big old head bait, 10 knot hook. You're just gonna cast it out there real easy. Let it hit the bottom. When one of these hits it, it should just get smoked. Yeah, I bet as soon as we slow down. All right, y'all, we're in business. Two orange boards off to the right, two greens off to the left, two straight out the back. That one's back about a country mile. And uh, we're gonna slow us down now. We got fish on the graph, we're going 0.8, and we're gonna slow it down about 0.5. You wanna start out a little bit faster because it helps kick those boards out. And then once the boards are out, you can just slow troll. And we will be back when we get a slam of jamma. There's one. Whoa. You on? You on? I think so. Yep, I'm on. Man, he's slamming. He's coming at me. He may have to take this uh, control yeah, and get us going forward again. Yep. Oh. He's coming at us. Man, he smashed the crap out of it. Bro, can you get us turned around here? <laughs> We're on. And I'll help the cause. 
Holy crap, that was a slam jamma Coming at us now. Yep, now he is coming forward. I don't know if he's in this one or not. Fish on! Fish on! We're going forward now. This may be a good fish, Chad. God, he slammed it. That was up on that. He, that way up high. He's in this line right here. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, grab it. You'll let him out. Uh, what do you want to do here? You'll probably have to, yeah. Holy. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, he's in it. He's just kind of staying down. No, no, he's out of it. Really? Maybe that was a fish on it. <laughs> Only problem with this little boat when you're dragging is it'll start pulling you backwards. No, you're good. I guess that one's gonna become the long rod. We got this wind coming out of this chute right here, which is making this difficult. Just pick that off if you can quickly, and then I'll, if I can do that. Well, it's around my waist right there. <laughs> I think that one's getting hit. Maybe. It's acting goofy. Yeah. This may be a decent fish, Chad. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, a little blue cat. Nice one to start out with. Hey, smash the tarnation out of it. Come on up here, boy. Come on up here. Okay, he is in that back line. To some capacity. Come here. God, he's fighting. All right. We're on. That didn't take long. All right. Let me see if I can, let's get him unhooked and then we'll fix this other planer board. Right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. Okay. It'll have to do. It's not tangled bad, so. Yeah. Let's see, we just need to get this board off. Okay, there's our first one. Not a bad teenage fish. He slammed the far out of it. I can't wait to see a big giant one here in a little while. Or pretty soon. But he, he no playing around, slam a jamma, rod down, fish on, baby. Planer board, board scooting across the top of the water. Yes, sir. Bring back your grandma. Thing. Either that or we're using it as a chump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting back in action here. Hellcat went down, baby. Peel and drag. We just need to. We need a big dog. A big dog. Where'd your board go? Hey, he's down there. We are right on the edge of the ledge. Yep.
Oh, I put it down. Dang it, that one got smacked. Yeah, I think he popped it. Dang it. I slowed us down to 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and we got whacked. That rod just was scooting across the surface, baby. Oh well. Oh well. We doing something right. I'm on. Oh, no. oh we put it down. He may be still there. He's trying to get it. A little pecker in that. You want a drag screamer, sir? Be better if you let that go. Bring your daddy up here, please. Thank you. There he is. Real, 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 real. You got real. That's circle up. <laughs> real, real, real. Okay, we're on hooked up, baby. That's a nice little takedown. He was flying. All right, I'm gonna get the boat right so they don't click her off. All right, how's he feel? Nothing. Ain't really got to him yet. Getting bigger. I'm gonna speed us up so we don't yeah. get all tangled again. Take the flack out of these couple. Hooked up, baby. That was a slam a jamma. Oh, yeah. Bam. I hope he grows. I hope he grows. Nope. <laughs> He's a fun sizer. He's an edible. Yep. That is what we would call a perfect eating size. He's about the size of mine. A little smaller. Wish I had a fish grip with me. I wouldn't have to defile the net for this. You want to just grab it with the... And, um... Slowing us down a little bit. Got him unhooked. Net. He ate a big giant chunk. Yeah, both those fins went in it. It's funny. Slow us down here. Let's see him there. Let's see him. That's, that's a pretty blue cat. Nice blue cat. Pretty blue cat. Current's probably just now getting down here, so we should start picking up some more. He gone. Cut a fresh bait here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's a big jack. Cut his head off. <laughs> Put a jumbo chunk on. What do you say? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. No, Jumbo chunk. Got us a jumbo chunk. Take her hook her like it. No scales on the tip. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Trying to cast them a little bit. We're jigging for catfish. <laughs> Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a good hit. Jeez. Down, Robert, trying to get this other board back out. 
bonus bowl. Heck yeah. He ain't a monster, but. He wanted it. Yeah, he smacked the crap out of it. He didn't want to play around. Come on, grow on me. Grow on me, baby. Let's see what we got here. Another blue. Another blue. Land of the blue. Yep. Smack. I got this. He's barely in there. Fatty. <laughs> Fatty. Okay, he was hooked real good. He was hooked really real good. They're all fatter, dang it, down here. We get a decent sized one, it's gonna be a hoss. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We caught them on the down rods, we caught them on the dragon rods. Very nice. Or the planer rods. Now we just gotta catch one on the flat lines behind the boat that are also dragging. But that fish, we're working our way up. There, right there. Good one, good one, good one. You got him? Good one. Good one, good one, good one. That's a big head bait. Here, I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. You do your fish. Heck yeah, double. You may want to loosen that drag. I had it pretty tight, I think. It's going to turn Yeah, he slowed the boat down from 0.6 to 0.3, so I'm going to have to speed us back up. He slowed us down to nothing. Coming at me. Coming right at me. Trying not to get caught in this other board. I think I'm going to, though. You're probably going to. It is what it is. I'm going to try to speed us back up. Is it a decenter fish? Decent. Decent. I was on a big head bait. I just want to get him past this. Oh, good blue. Chad, good blue. Big one. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're up in the 30 pound club now. I think. Got that dark color on me. Ain't that big old head bait. Heck yeah, brother. Double. Double. <laughs> <laughs> we just dragging up this channel ledge on the Tennessee River. Gosh, he smacked the crap out of that rod was down. Heck yeah. We have made it. To the we got him close. All right, let me get the, the other Hellcat. I'm gonna come go, up. Go for it. Yep, and we're gonna make him long rod now. And you just start working him up front. Look at the dark color on that blue. I love it when they get that bronze color. Yeah, it's cool, huh, on the bottom? Big fish. Good fish, good fish. Good fish. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, sir. Good one. All right, let me get us, let me get us back in business with the motor and everything. Oh, yeah. We'll land your fish there. He's hooked good. Okay, this one's back out. Those are back out. All right. All right, net time. We're gonna be in trouble with a big giant fish. I like the depth. Of you. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, bro. Nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Just, oh. just another day. Two gingers in a boat catching Catch a fish. Thirty-pound catfish. That's a long, lean, mean catfish right there. Tennessee River Blue. Beautiful fish. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Yes, sir. He slammed it. 
All right, All right. Yeah. let's throw them back. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That a uh, good size blue eight. Ooh, that, that got hit. Yep. That one got hit. It popped the board too. Yep. We'll just to we'll let him sit there for a second and see if he comes back and gets it. But that there it is. He's still on it. He's still on it. I'm gonna just keep going a little bit. Everybody seems like they fell more on this side. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, since that fish so rudely interrupted us, how did I do that in that amount of time? Okay, I got that. Yeah. All right. Now, that good blue ate this bait right here. Big old headpiece. So we're going to send another one back out after it. That looks fishy. Oh, he put it down. Put it down. Green Hellcat right here is getting dinked on. Oh. That's acting awful flatheady. He might be swimming with that. We're just going to let him take it down. That's that big giant chunk, isn't it? Yep. Oh, this one right here is getting hit. That's a big hole bait right there. I want that to go down. That is a hole bait on this one right here. Come on. <laughs> Two bites at the same time. Yep. Which one goes down? They're both still on it. Whatever one you grab, I'll grab the other. Okay. Sounds good. Interesting. They are playing with it. These are acting like flatheads. Getting pushed in this bank though, so I'm gonna pull us off of it. That wind is howling. This audio is probably hot garbage. It's all right though. He's trying to do it right now. He's still on this green bait. Look at that. Still just fooling with it. That's either a dink or just a flathead. Right here. Yep. He's on. We're on. That double bait. I'm on. Yep. Fish on. I hate that big double bait, but it ain't a big fish. I think he came off. Or he's coming at me on. No, he's coming at me. Come on, baby. Heck yeah. Finally. Wind picked up and there's a bass tournament out here. Fish is coming at me. I don't know what to think about it yet. He ate a big bait, but he ain't acting big. Come on, get on up here. Although this was way back to creation. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, go over the top of me. I'm gonna take him up to the left there. think about them yet let's get out our mini net yeah the mini fray bill. bill right at this creek mouth came up and slammed it what we got what we got 
He wasn't hungry. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Another decent oh. one. Alrighty. They're fat. Big old head piece. Big old head piece. Very nice. Very nice. We got another bite here. Do we have another bite here? Nope. Okay. There he is. Get him. Oh, good, good fish. Oh, did he come off? Did he come off? What the heck? People are peeling drag. What the heck? He's on it. He's on it. Yeah, he's on it. There we go. You on him? Well, yeah, well, heck well, yeah. Well. Hell yeah. Fish on, fish, fish on. on. Fish on. That may be a good fish. Could be. He slowed us down from point eight to point four. We got some head shaking going on. I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. That that one might get caught in the middle. Which one? The middle one. I think it might be in your middle on that. One. Okay. Yeah. Come up over the top. No, you're not in it. Okay, I'm gonna let him go longer. Very nice. Well, maybe you're in it. I don't, yeah, you're in it. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out later. You want to reel it in with me, I guess, and then we'll try to... Yeah. So it doesn't get so jacked. Maybe that's the best thing to do here. I don't know. I'm new to fishing. We've never done this before. Not one time. We've got the bucket as the uh, drift sock. The poop bucket? Yep. Man, they hitting it like they got something to them. Oh yeah, mighty tangled up. Yeah, it's goes, a fish though. That goes past it, so as long as I get this hook out, it should come right, right out. Let's do this. We marking fish out there in the middle of the channel. Gosh, they're all fat. That may be a little big to boat flip. We got 50 pound test. 100 pound leader. He's coming in. He's coming in. Coming in hot. He's coming in hot. Look how fat it is. <laughs> what the heck? I see the belly on that thing. That is a catfish belly. <laughs> Butterball. <laughs> My 600 pound life, the catfish edition. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, that's a big fish. That's that's a big fish. That Holy crap. This is a big one. Whoa. Oh, it came off. No. 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 Fudge. Holy crap, that was a monster. We were ripping. Bro, I think he may have like tangled it around something and broke me off. What the heck? That was a monster. Dang. Dang, that was a monster. Bro. Holy crap. Holy crap. What happened? He just came un unbuttoned. Just there. came unbuttoned. Oh, there it is. Look. Somehow a scale got on the tip of the hook. Goog and moved by one of us. I don't know who did it. One of us messed up. That's what did it right there. Dude, that was a toad. Gosh. That was a toad toad. That was a toad toad. Dang. That was the... That was the big bite of the day so far. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Well, we know where a big one or two is at. What a dang heartbreak. What a heartbreak. Well, we're going to get them back out. That's all we can do. Get your bait back in the water. Get back to fishing. Is that one on a planer board? Yeah. Yep.
Daggum it. That sucks. Sucks, sucks. Fish. Yep. Little one. Fish on. Well, we found some fish, guys. This one ain't tiny, but it ain't a monster. Which way you want me to go to the rod to help? Uh, I don't know. Okay. He's kind of staying down. What speed we at? 27, that's good. I think I'm gonna be able to go to the left of it. That's what I, that's what my goal is. Yep. He's staying down. That's good. Yeah. Gosh, we need some redemption after what we just did. Huh? Yeah. I want to see a big old flathead. There's there's some weight to this, I think. Oh, that is just fooling me. He's staying down. Yeah, there you go. You can go. Up underneath me now, Chad, if you want. He took it down good. I don't think you cleared that one. All right. He hasn't gotten squirrely. Gosh, I hope he fools me. Come on, buddy. Be a toad. Be a toad for us. Kind of feels like he's hooked funny. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> Musky in Alabama. Wouldn't that be something? Come on, get on up here. Just staying down. Just staying down. He's just working up this side channel next to this island. We got slammed right down there. We just kept going. I reckon we may make another pass. I don't know if he's like swimming with the boat. Like, I just don't know. He's just not doing anything at all. I'm about to be straight up and down with him, and then we'll find out. All right, there's the board. Just a funky fighting teenager. Fish. Fat, fat fish. All right. God, he's fat. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Butterball. What an under. Man, you'd want to have that in a tournament. Good Lord. That's about as good of an under as you can get. Wow. Okay, well. He's still angry. He wants to go for more. He's biting the hook. Big old head piece. Heck yeah. Fat, fat blue cat after uh, the drag peeler, heartbreaker, 50, 60 pound monster. Who knows how big it was? It was a giant. But we still in it. The current's just now getting down to us, and there'll be even more as the day progresses. And we're just gonna keep dragging down the channel, baby. See ya. Boy, that one didn't come unbuttoned from the ten knot. Oh dang, that was a fish. Dang it. Missed him. Oh well. You won't come back and get it? Maybe. Why don't they touch him after they pop the board? I don't know. That got slammed. Holy crap. You Yeah, I'm on. You want him? Nope, you're good. Gosh, what a hit. Is he coming at me? What is going on here? Did he come off? No, there he is. He just came at me. 
I hate these head shakes. What a slam a jamma. Goodness gracious. Here they are. Flat line this time. Man, he just creamed it. Sorry, I got your fish. Coming at me. Coming at me. Gosh, he's acting funky. Come here. I'm trying to ease him up. I can't catch up to him. I get tension on me, just barrel straight back at me. One of them other phone sizers. He's back there. Look at him. Look at him. What speed are we going? One four. All right. Well, we found the fish, guys. We're on them. We just gotta pick it apart until we get a big another big hit. Well, heck, this guy hit like a big one, but uh, he's another fun sizer. Wow. God, they're smacking the crap out of it. <laughs> Feel bad for taking Chad's turn. Feel less bad because it ain't a monster. It's a fun fish though. Coming in hot. They're all just like same size. Diabetes. Fat. Same size. This one's been caught before. Really? Mm -hmm. Got a hook in them or hole? Don't worry. Somebody else took a hook out. He was still hungry, by gosh. The purple on him. That's another 20 pound fish. 18. That hook was in there, baby. It's funny how hooks work when there's not a scale on the tip of them. Any of the bonk devices? Got it. Hold him up for the camera. Hold him up for the camera. Look at the belly on him. Look at the belly on him. Look at the belly on him. All right, throw that really nice cat. See ya. Whoa! Did it come off? Did it come off? Nothing. What? Nothing. Reeled up. Well, we lost another Mondo somehow. So good. Drop it back down. Dang. Gosh. Statistics says third time's a charm. Yeah. Good gosh. God. Pull and drag again. Yeah. Golly, hard. Did you put it down again? He popped that board. Man, well, a bite's a bite. I'm having a bite. There you go. There's a the fish. Oh, fish on. Yeah, baby. Got them coming at you. They will sure as heck like to do that today. I mean, swimming fast at me. See if he's made of something when he gets up here close. There's a release to the piece. Sizer. Oh, he just had a time. All of them are just smacking the crap out of it. I don't care what size they are. It's just like bonk. Yeah, that's a, is that a, no, that's a blue. I thought it was a channel cat, how bronzy it looked when they hit the sunlight there. Pretty cool. I'm gonna get this back out while you're landing your fish. We're eventually just gonna look into a big one. Eventually. Yeah. 
You don't want to boat flip that one? Another just butter ball. They're all fat. He's got the diabetes. This one's still. Give it up. Give it up. Whatever you do. Give it up. <laughs> The ones we have up in Knoxville don't get this like really cool color. What they eat down here, I guess, right? I don't know. I wonder if there's different strains of blue catfish. I don't know, I'm not a biologist. Well, there's a monster. Yep. We're hooked up, guys. Oh my God. Did he come off? Nope. Nope, he's just coming at me like crazy. Good gosh. He's just running at me. Holy. Wow, it slammed it. This isn't a big double bait. Wow. Come on. He slapped the tarnation. Man, he pulled the whole boat backwards. Look. There's the bucket. It's all slacked up because we went backwards because it hit us so hard. <laughs> I don't know how big he is. He's kind of being squirrely. But this was on one of those heifer doubles. Oh, he's on the surface back there. Weird. He hit the crap oh. out of it. He's on the surface back there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no, that's a pretty good fish. That's a pretty good fish. He's coming at us. Okay, he's underneath it. You go under me, and then we'll be good. Okay. God, he's fighting weird. This is a good fish. This is a netter. Okay. Let me cast this next one. Okay. Go over you. Come here. He's running to the right. They do weird stuff when there's no flow. One more. Okay. All right, I'm about to be straight up and down with him finally. Is he a good cat? Oh yeah, it's a better cat for sure. Oh, there yeah. we go. Oh yeah. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah. Getting better, getting better, baby. Wow. 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 Oh, he's wanting to go that way. Nope, 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 nope. Come this way. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. There we go. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Hooked up on the double. Oh, we got some good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Better? This one's got weight. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Very good one. Oh, yeah. He pushing 40. He's pushing 40. Solid fish. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Look at that fish, baby. Woo! Ooh, loudy. A heifer. Goodness. That's a good fish. That hook just came right out. Right out. That was luckiness. That was a close one. That was a close one. That's the bait he ate. That is the bait he ate. After Dinks pecked it, he took her down. Right, Pick that right. sucker up. Take a picture with him. You're a big fucking bitch, Jesus.
we're gonna get this big feller back in the water. He's upper 30s, maybe close to 40. Solid fish, probably 36, 38, something like that. Good, we'll release him. Man, he was mean. God, he bit the crap out of me. We get slime on the camera? Yeah, a little bit. We'll clean her off here in a second. All right, we gotta get baited back up now. The jumbos are biting. Now, I almost backlashed it because I'm excited. That's just a part of it. Well, guys, they keep eating everything, so we're just going to go even bigger until they stop eating. So there's a pound and a half, two pound bait, something like that. No problem. No big deal. Catfish will slurp it down. And we're going to lob it out there and we're just setting the rod holder let it get about 50 60 yards behind the boat right here he swung with it or something oh real 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 we're on there we go oh we're on a good fish this is a good fish. Oh, yeah. decent fish oh yeah very nice i got some fish eggs here fish on Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is he another uh, teener or do you think he's better? No, I I'm up to 30. Oh gosh, oh god. He's head shaking like a boss. God. Good lord. Trying to get set back up after that big and Makes Dad's it hard got him a good one on. Makes it hard when you get bit all the time. <laughs> what are we at? 300 pounds of fish maybe? 300, 300 pounds of catfish? Something like that. Something like that. God, this one's head shaking like Super boss. Not He's gonna be a mean 20 pounder. He does not want to come in. Or a flathead. Please be a flathead. I want to catch a flathead. Me too. Should be time. Flathead time, flathead time. He's just pumping them on in here. Alright, let's get this in. Oh. Snag, he came off. Okay, cool. You're going through some nasty, nasty stuff with this dragon things. But these fish are laying in it. Let's see if I can't get this. Big Swarchag gets up here. That thing's just head shaking. Head shaking, rod quaking. Catfish. Expert maneuvering there, Chad. Expert maneuvering. Hooked up, baby! Oh, yeah. Decent fish, bro? Decent fish. Very nice. Decent fish. Oh, yeah! Oh, he's digging. Look at that. Oh, yeah! There he goes. There he goes. Thanks for coming. What we got here? Oh, he takes some line? Taking it. Oh. Taking line. Taking line. He's going upstream. It is a flathead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Laddie. <laughs> they fight so dang hard. Yeah. That rod snagged. Came undone, but popped the board. All right, let me get this out, Chad. Yeah. You're gonna chill there with your fish? Yep. Okay. We got a flatty, a flat cat daddy. Flat cat daddy. All right, I'm gonna let that wow, go out. What a hard fight for such a small fish. I mean, he's not tiny. He doesn't have the belly on him like those other ones do. Come on up here. Come on up here, buddy. Oh, Flat yeah. cat, baby. Flat cat, baby. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll let you unhook him. That hunk looks a little bent out. He fought. 
Flat cat baby, flat cat baby. Let's see the top of him. That's a pretty fish. That Look at him. Fish. Look at that fish. He's Look young. at that fish. He fought. Brown. He fought like crazy. He fought like crazy. Heck yeah. Goodbye, fine sir. Thank you for the fight. We will see you again. Send your daddy. There's a big one. Is he on? Oh, he's on. Gosh. Another slam jamma Come on, baby. Gosh, they just keep obliterating it. They hungry. Yeah. No question, just boom. Gone. He's coming at me. Golly. Can't even get our boards back out. That drag is not loose at all either. This has got some weight to it, I think. This has got some weight. Yeah, baby, big cat fever rod. Hold him hooked. Come on, show me something, big daddy. I just got squirrely, I don't like that. He hit it hard though. I think he's gonna be another one of them fun sizers. Yeah. On fire. Oh, gosh. Ooh, my back's getting sore. Come on in here. Where you at, big dog? Where you at? I thought he came off when I think they hit it so hard they pull the boat back and it puts slack in the line because this boat doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> Come on, baby. He's 20 something the way he just did his little swirly thing. I think. I don't know, he's got some weight. He's digging on us. Look at that. He digging, baby. Yeah. He digging. For sure he's digging. Oh, come on. Got a... We got grass to death. Grass to grass city here. Oh man. He's staying down. Maybe he is decent. I'll loosen the drag just a little bit just in case. He's digging. He's like coming upstream. He's being a flatty. He was not playing with that hook set. Golly. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, he's digging. There he goes. There's some drag. There's some drag. Okay. I like the looks of that. I like it. Okay. I got us going a mile an hour. Let me slow us down. <laughs> We're high speed trolling. I think we got us another flatty, Chad. I think we do. Okay. Man, he's digging, boy. He's digging. Boy, he's digging. Oh, yeah. No, another blue. Oh, Big blue. Yeah, he's, nice he's blowing some bubbles. He's blowing some bubbles, baby. All right, well, we're to the leader. There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Golly. We are on fire, baby. Another tub. Another tub in the Yeah, boat. geez. We're having a day. Boy, that 3.30 wake-up call was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> My gosh. All right, guys, we ain't got hardly any rods in the water now because just everything keeps going crazy, and these two are staying up. So we're going to take a picture of this big bad boy and release him. Is that a fish? Oh. There's the one. That's a monster. That's a monster. Ease him out of there. Ease him out of there. He's on there. 
Is he still peeling? Oh god. Oh god. Just keep it tight. Just keep it tight. Don't horse him. I got weight. I got weight. Yep, that's a big one. That's a peeler. Goodness gracious. Around the tip of this point. God, he was going, wasn't he? The whole boat's going backwards. Yeah, give me some forward to keep me from getting hung up in all of this. I'm gonna try. I've got it on four, the trolling motor. This one's this one. Snag. Snag fish or snag? That's a snag. That's a snag. Holy, Chad's got a, a jumbo on again. Goodness gracious. This is definitely a jumbo. He was just tearing line. I got girth. Oh, oh, peel and drag, peel yep. and drag. Let's back the drag off just a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's a heavy, heavy action rod right there. Just ease him in. Keep it tight. Keep it tight coming down. It's really easy. Yeah. We got us a jumbo one, guys. A big one. A big one. Man, he was peeling in that rod holder. The whole boat stopped. That was on that monster bait, dude. Monster bait. The jumbo. Super jumbo the, bait. That was the two pounder. We don't even have a third, half of our rods out. <laughs> I think this is going to be a netter. Let's fix this eventually i had that way back there there's that bass tournament must have just finished or something i don't know whatever we catching giants uh, oh my gosh more line he's an easy chad easy going down just keep it tight there we go there we go we got a good one to me, sometimes he swims away yep I think he's a real good one. Which way you want to go with him, right or left? Right. Okay, come to your left. Man, I got this hook in the floor I'm trying to tie. Come to your left. Yeah, reel down. All right. Yep, perfect. All right. Just, yep, yep. Just keep it tight. Keep it tight, baby. Just keep it tight. Keep it tight. Okay. I think we're in the clear now. That's either snagged or something. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. We're just getting this guy in. All right. Wow, look at that rod bend. Oh, we got girth here. Yeah, I think that's a good one. We got girth here. Okay. Man, he just, that was just gone in the rod holder. Goodness gracious, Chad. We got a fish. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't thumb it. Do not thumb it. It ain't a grouper. There ain't a shark to eat it. <laughs> Let it go. We got serious weight. We got serious weight. We got serious weight. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, baby. We got the bass pros coming by. And we got the couple redhead Googans out here pulling on some hogs. Go the ups. Wait just for a second. Yeah, good. God, he keeps pulling the boat sideways. I haven't I'm having to use this trolling motor to pull us the other way. <laughs> Can't get him up. That's okay. <laughs> just easy. That's fine. Pulling line, more line, more line. Lots more of drag. Line. Lots of drag. Lots of drag. All right, we got... Another it's a flat. flat. It's a big flat. Big oh, he's ripping line. He's ripping line. He's ripping line. Heck yes. Let's see this flat cat. What we got, Chad? What we got? Okay. We got more drag? I got one of the other lines, but that's okay. Barely. Oh, a jumbo. A jumbo. Jumbo flathead. Jumbo. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Jumbo. Yeah. He don't fit in this net. Yeah. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Jumbo. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's a fish right there, buddy. Yep.
Golly. Another big flat. We got some mess. We got a, another sweet flathead right there. Yeah. A mess going, guys. <laughs> the whole floor's dirty. There's my water. <laughs> Sunscreen everywhere. Fish biting like crazy. Got this. Good gracious. Man, we're having a day. Dude, this guy is having All these bass tournaments and <laughs> guys are. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Look at that. What a fish. What a fish. Guys, here's this flathead. Gosh, what a day. What a day. We are just having a time. All right, let's put this big dog back. Put him back over there. There, that wind's kicking up. He fought, boy. You're free. Get out of here. All right, see you later. Yes, sir. All right, we got to get all these rods out and uh, meander through the bass powwow. Yeah. Well, it's hotter than dang it out here. Really hot. Well, it's actually a bass tournament taking off. In the middle of us. Just everywhere. Well. <laughs> okay. Golly, look at the mess. Thank you, Bass Tournament. We appreciate you. How in the heck am I gonna get this out, Chad? Doing good. Whoa. Whoa. Floor slippery. Yeah. Let's not fall out of the boat. Whoa. Gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna fall out of the boat. But I would very much prefer not to do that. Let's see if I can get this board off. That would help us. Gosh. Gosh. Dang, I'm fast, dudes. Did you get that on film? Yes. <laughs> well, we about finally got all our dang baits out. Another. Golly. I told y'all we'd keep throwing them as big as we could get until they stopped eating it. Well, they ain't stopped eating it, so here we go. Throw them back out. This is a hot. <laughs> this is what these bass guys are fishing for. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like bass fishing. I just like to poke fun. Trying to. Bite right here on the big bait. I think it's a little pecker net. Them big guys ain't playing, it's just gone. Drag screaming. Well, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, feller? Are you gonna take me in a snag? Try. Try to. Try to take me in a snag. Not today. Is Fish on? on? I guess. Yeah, he on. Reel down on him. I'm trying to put sunscreen on. Okay, you got him? <laughs> okay, let me put some sunscreen on. You stay on that hook up there. He's still on there? Yeah. Okay, let's get some sunscreen on here. Stop. Stop. Okay, I got some sunscreen on. Let's I think there's fish on this one. Think so? I, think I got so. sunscreen on my glasses. Let's, right. let's, let's see if we got that. You got weight? I think he's swimming at me. Maybe. I ain't rightly sure. When I reeled down, it didn't go. <laughs> Let's see. Did we let him go because I was playing around? Oh. Or is he coming at us? No, I think he's coming at us. Watch this, guys. Watch this. There he is. Oh, oh he came off. <laughs> he wasn't very big. Was, he wasn't very big. That was a quick release because we could tell the weight of the fish. Yeah. Exactly. He wasn't big enough to meet quota. Nope. No, 30 pounders plus now only. Double hook again? Yeah. Okay. And here we go, bigger again. Bigger is better sometimes, but today it is. We're just chumming too. We throw on the tails back, fillets. Doesn't seem to matter. We getting eaten. Oh, what a glorious bait. Chum. All right. Is that, is that big enough or you want a bigger one? 
Yeah, I think that's good. I don't think we got many much bigger than this in there. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that we were, we well, were we, going all in in that. What we need to do is go catch some five pound carp <laughs> and drag those apparently. Because uh, Skipjack, this is not big enough. Oh! There's one. Did he come off? There's no way that came off. Did that come off? No way. No way that came off. Holy sh! <laughs> what the heck? How did that come off? What? Yeah. Good golly. Double it was. I just didn't have time to get it out of the holder. I had my glasses off. Holy crap. Jeez. What the heck happened? He tore that thing all to pieces. <laughs> Jeez. That was another jump giant. That was a giant. Yeah. For sure. Well. For sure. You know what the giants want at this point in time we're just gonna be we're gonna just feed them whole i'm about to put on another just whole skipjack rig we'll be dragging three out of six holes fix that get it back in business heck goodness gracious all right well it got slammed <laughs> yeah Did he come off? Looks like it. That gum. Missed another one. Peel on line. Short bite. Short bite. Bonus pole behind the boat, or directly under the motor, is going down with yet another whole skipjack. Because we got a bunch of them, and we're going to try to use them all in the next three or four hours. About to reel in that pole that just got missed back there. All right. All right, we've moved back now to where we started catching all them fish. We ran into a kind of a 20 minute lull. So we going back to where we were on them and see if we can get back on them, baby. Well, a catfish tore one of the lips off of this <laughs> planter board thing. So we took a piece of plastic from a donut thing and we're using it for some tension. Gotta do what you gotta do. Big brain mode, engaged. When the fish are biting, you do some redneck stuff to make it work. MacGyver! All right, y'all, we back in business. Pulling off this point where we caught all those fish. Current's probably starting to reach just a little bit. Just a little bit. These fish are feeding. That's a fish. Oh, he put it down. Sucker, put it down. No, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Is he gonna take it all the way down? Is he gonna take it all the way down? Come on, big Bertha. Come on, eat it. That's acting like a flathead. That is acting like a flathead. I'm gonna just leave it in the rack until it folds. Maybe I should reel on it. I think you should reel on it. When he pulls back on the reel line. See what happens? Give him a reel. He's still there. He's like, I want this big old bait. leaving it alone now back on it again
Come on. That's a dink. <laughs> dink. Go down. Go down. That's a fish. Oh, he came off. Come on, Hellcat, fold over. Man, what a day we've had, y'all. We get back to the launch now before it gets dark. We got us a long drive back up home from Alabama to East Tennessee. But we had a, a banging time, baby. A banging time. Well, guys, um, I forgot to film an outro last night after we left uh, Gunnersville Lake there. But uh, it turns out, Chad and I were supposed to be home by 11, 12 o'clock, not too bad. We got home at 3.30 a.m. because there was a wreck in Cleveland on the way back, and we were stuck dead stop for four and a half hours. Couldn't go anywhere, couldn't get off, nothing. That ran out of gas in the truck, had to take it out of the boat uh, backup uh, five gallon tank and put it in the truck. Man, it was a you know what show, but we caught a lot of big fish. Stay tuned for the rest of the uh, season of uh, warm weather catfishing and striper fishing. They're about to go on a spawn, the, the catfish, the striper on it right now. Once the striper come off, I'm gonna start fishing for them again while the catfish are on it. And uh, we're gonna have some fun here, but thanks for coming along on that adventure. That ended up being a 24 hour adventure. I had to be at work at 8 a.m. this morning. And man, I'm struggling, but we here, baby. And uh, you know, we caught a lot of fish and it was a good time. So uh, hit that like and subscribe button, Feast Bros, and we'll catch you on the next video.